Jupiter Media presents AIIHE's, you're right, relatively new. Uh, AIIHE was registered with Texa in 2021 and with Crycos in 2022. Um, we are delighted to have two campus locations for our international students. We have Sydney, um, centrally located as well, Town Hall and Brisbane as well. We're moving a campus to the centrally located Margaret Street in Brisbane CBD. We have two wonderful courses on scope with more coming um, towards the end of 2023, Bachelor of Business Information Systems and Bachelor of Business Marketing. Um, very popular courses at the moment. Um, I'm also um, privileged to be a part of uh, AAAHE knowing that both our academic team, our admin team and the board of directors are all focused on delivering such a wonderful uh, academic journey for our international students. Destination Australia, promoting Australian education and development of Nepalese diaspora in Australia. Hello and Namaste. Welcome to Destination Australia Television Show. We are trying to promote studying Australia program by featuring physically there in Australia and sharing the fresh information to you. We have already featured five top universities from five top Australian city and some of the vet institutions, some of the higher education and development of Nepalese diaspora. Through this television show, today I am going to talk about Australian International Institute of Higher Education and especially in Sydney and Brisbane, how do college is supporting international student and offering the quality of education there in Brisbane and Sydney. To provide you this fresh information about the college, we have very special guest from college side who is none other than Mr. Vlad, who is CEO of Australian International Institute of Higher Education. Let's welcome him to the show. Vlad, you are welcome on our show. Thank you so much, Sunil, and it's wonderful to see you here in Nepal. Um, and I want to say that it's a pleasure to be here. At yeah, even we are quite happy to having you in this common platform so that we will be able to share the fresh information about the facilities, infrastructure and quality of education at AIIHE. So first of all, would you please tell us something about your Nepal visit for this time? Absolutely. Well, firstly, thank you for highlighting Australian education through Destination Australia. Um, I honestly feel that um, students here in Nepal um, have a very good insight of what it's like to be studying in Australia. And I appreciate, Sunil, as well, that uh, you actually travel to other capital cities, not just Sydney. So it's wonderful that you give a comprehensive overview to studying in Australia. Okay. This is my third week in Nepal. I've had a wonderful trip. Um, I've traversed across the country. I've been to Pokhara, Chitwan, Butwal, uh, Bharatnagar and many other cities. <laughs> so I'm fairly tired. Um, but I do want to say it's an incredible experience. Um, I've been very fortunate to meet wonderful students. Um, they're all very excited about studying in Australia and I'm here to present an amazing institution, a higher education ins institution called the Australian International Institute of Higher Education offering two bachelor courses at the moment. So one of the bachelor courses are Bachelor of Business Marketing Information, Information Systems and Bachelor of Business Marketing. Australian International Institute of Education is a really young institution and trying to offer the versatile courses for the industry. In this case, how would you uh, introduce uh, AIIH to our television viewer? AIIHE is, you're right, relatively new. Uh, AIIHE was registered with Texa in 2021 and with Crycos in 2022. Um, we are delighted to have two campus locations for our international students. We have Sydney, um, centrally located as well, Town Hall and Brisbane as well. We're moving a campus to the centrally located Margaret Street in Brisbane CBD. We have two wonderful courses on scope with more coming um, towards the end of 2023, Bachelor of Business Information Systems and Bachelor of Business Marketing. Um, very popular courses at the moment. Um, I'm also um, privileged to be a part of uh, AAAHE knowing that both our academic team, our admin team and the board of directors are all focused on delivering such a wonderful uh, academic journey for our international students. Okay, so um, uh, how uh, Australian International Institute of Higher Education is 
trying to deliver global standard education, mm -hmm. what sort of the teaching pedagogy you are going to apply there? Mm -hmm. So our academic team is working very closely with our international students um, to uh, you know, delivering workshops to understand where they are and how we can further develop their professional career path, whether it's in marketing or information systems. Yeah, so uh, talking about the information system and marketing, uh, both are the vibrant uh, course uh, for the industry. So uh, what are the like, career prospects after completing these courses? Mm -hmm. uh, well, information systems is a very, very strong industry at the moment. Um, I, there's nothing more that brings me joy than to see our students moving on into a professional career path and uh, you know, utilising the academic um, outcome from AIIHE. In Destination Australia Television Show, we are sharing the experience of international student too. And often they are sharing about the infrastructure, facilities, faculties and so on things. And on the top of that, international student caring unit is the main part to welcome them. So how um, uh, AIIHE is establishing these services to welcome more international students? Thank you, Sunil. It's a good question. Uh, we have a wonderful student support system. We have a great admin team. We have a very warm, uh, caring environment for our international students. Um, and also we have a state-of-the-art campus that's centrally located um, in Sydney Town Hall. Um, we are providing um, you know, external activities as well, um, where students can also uh, assimilate into the Australian culture, whether they're surf classes or um, giving them locations of gyms and so on. And of course, there's the strong diaspora of the Nepalese community. Okay, so talking about your um, uh, professional career, you have already spent one decade on um, international education sector and handling even Nepalese students too. Mm. So uh, what is your experience with Nepalese students mm. and how they are doing there? Mm. Nepalese students are absolutely wonderful, Sunil. Um, my experience has only been uh, a very positive um, relationship with most of my students. Um, some of them I'm still in touch with um, from, from, from past years, but they're very, very diligent and hardworking and they assimilate really well in the Australian culture. Talking about Nepalese students, they are really smart and hardworking as well. So let's have a talk about the opportunity inside hard work and the genuinity. So what are the uh, scholarship uh, if, schemes and offer for genuine students who want to like do something in their career? Absolutely. So obviously I'm here in Nepal promoting AIIHE and the two courses that we have on scope. Um, the pricing is identical for each of the courses. It's three years six semesters and it's $8,000 per semester. Currently we are offering students a 10% scholarship discount uh, which is $7,200 and to obtain the COE we are requesting two semester payments which is one year in advance. Okay, so how do Australian International Institute of Higher Education AIIHE collaborate with other industry partners to explore students um, career horizon during their study and after completing their study, uh, what sort of the industrial tie-up are there? AIIHE, we're always working towards developing industry relationships and these relationships essentially assist the student in moving into a professional career path, whichever course they decide to study in. Okay, Vlad, let's have a talk about the beauties of Australian education. What are the opportunities inside studying in Australia? Well, I think it's really important to advocate that education is absolutely imperative to your professional career path in Australia. Um, for the Nepalese students, uh, not only do they get an education in English, uh, but they also then are able to assimilate um, in the Australian culture and obviously um, obtain work in their professional career path and enjoy the Australian way of life. Um, and they are also able to, uh, with that degree, um, to move to other countries such as the UK and, and America. So to have that uh, um, bachelor um, degree completed is, is certainly uh, a positive outcome for the student. We are at the end of this session, Vlad, and how can students uh, find out more about the studying in AIIHE? Well, firstly, the first point of contact would be the website which is aiihe.edu.au. Um, there's a lot of information there that students can 
um, follow up on. Uh, also our email contacts are there, so please feel free to contact us via email. Also our representative in Nepal is Mr. Gokul, who you may want to contact as well. Thank you so much Mr. Vlad to providing the press information about AIIHE and the opportunities in Sydney and Brisbane for international students. So once again, thank you so much for your valuable time and thoughts. Thank you so much Sunil. Well, I warmly welcome all the international students um, to consider AIIHE if the courses uh, something that you would like to study um, and I look forward to seeing you all in Australia. Right. Namaste. Destination Australia, promoting Australian education and development of Nepalese diaspora in Australia.